you've got a fair idea about how a pregnancy happens. But today, you're still worried when you have missed out your monthly periods. I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, I'm going to talk about what all can't get you pregnant. Number one, kissing or hugging. No matter how long you have kissed for, no matter how many times you have kissed or how deeply you have kissed your partner or how tightly you have hugged him, you will still not get pregnant. Your saliva doesn't have the eggs or your partner's saliva doesn't have the sperms to cause a pregnancy. Even oral sex can't get you pregnant. Yes, even if one has swallowed the semen. Number two, fingering. Again, fingers do not have the biological elements to cause a pregnancy, hence fingering is not going to lead to a pregnancy. Three, dry humping with clothes on, even if he has come on you. The eggs and the sperms cannot penetrate clothes and be united. However, if he has come on you close to your vaginal opening, there is a small possibility of a pregnancy. Four, you can't get pregnant by masturbation or getting excited alone with sexual thoughts. Five, it is highly unlikely that you will get pregnant with when you're using a contraception, like condoms or pills. You might find it a little silly that I'm talking about all this, but I'll tell you stories. I have had couples who have come to me seeking help for to get pregnant. And when I'm taking their history, I found out, find out that they are actually having sex with the condom on. Why? Because they don't want an infection to be transmitted from one to another. Or the woman is having some oral contraceptive pills as a part of a treatment for her hormonal imbalance and she doesn't even know that this will not make her pregnant. Having sex while you're already pregnant will not make you pregnant again. And yes, it will also not make the unborn baby pregnant. However weird you might think that I'm talking about, these are real questions that I face in my practice. Seven, having sex while you're in your periods will not get you pregnant because the pregnancy hormones are yet not ready in that cycle. This is of course true for someone who has a very regular monthly periods. It doesn't hold true for someone who has irregular cycles, who has shorter cycles or who have a prolonged bleeding. I hope you now have a little better idea about things to get you relieved from the anxiety and unnecessary worrying. All the best. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.